Friday, February 5. Uh, I think the keys to the game, if uh, I'm scared of the Panthers' inside pass rush coming right up the front at weak spot in our offensive line, uh, if we can block that part off, we're probably going to be able to move the ball. Um, Manning, of course, Rip Van Winkle. I, you know, it's scary, but it's his last game. He's going to make all there is. And uh, how do we do against the Panthers' offense? I have hopes that early in the first quarter, uh, we begin to see confusion descend on Mr. New. Oh, I, I'm supposed to talk about money. Oh, shoot. It, it's payroll day. I, Sorry. First Friday of the month, uh, we get non-farm payrolls, which the bond market and mortgage markets watch more than any, everything else put together. And we got a reasonable number that's in mid-trend. There's some sign that wages are growing. At first, the markets, did, that is, the bond market didn't like it and rates rose. But by noontime, we trickled right back off to where we are. All you need to know is the disconnect. All of the central banks in the world X United States are in a hysterical easing process trying to rescue themselves from incipient deflation and default on maybe a pretty broad scale. And here in the United States, the Fed says that it's going to tighten because it's worried that the U.S. economy is too strong and inflation's the problem. Somebody's wrong here. Uh, it's not likely that both parties are right at the same time for long. And so here we sit. Uh, mortgage rates are down almost a half a percent since Christmas. Fed still says, we're coming. It's not a pretty sight when the financial markets say that the Federal Reserve is mistaken. That's what they say. Uh, over time, it's a bad idea for the Fed to disagree with them. But here we sit, 3.75, no points, and looking for all the world as though we're going to go lower. And so on that note, um, Broncos got to do it. They got to do it. Bound to do it. I, uh, go Broncos!